Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase push notifications. Here you can see that the Firebase cloud messaging API v1 is enabled, but the cloud messaging API legacy is disabled. So previously we are sending the notifications using the server key, so which is not yet generated now. And here you can see that we are not able to do any stuff over there. So that means it is disabled. You are not able to send the push notifications now. So how to fix that issues? We are going to learn in this video. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video let's get started so first of all we have to generate the notification in the last video we have discussed about the how to send this uh, URL how to make this URL with project with project ID and the messages sent authorization bearer and the token I need to access token I required so I'm going to generate this in the video and this is our body that we have a token we have a notification right so let's generate the access token so here we go over python things and first of all we require the service account in the doc uh, in the downloads we have this service accounts so let's copy and paste this and let's go to the html python and let's paste this code and let me rename this and copy and paste this and let's go over there so just i need the path of that file json to generate this account okay and this is done Let's generate the assess token. So Python 3. And here we go with our main.py. Main.py. And here we go with the assess token. Let's try to use this assess token. Copy and paste it. And let's go to the postman and use this our assess token. The headers. Otherwise, it's automatically giving me the login. Then send permissions denied cloud messages create resource this test project or maybe not exist permission denied i am permission denied okay so this is not my project id so i need to go with our project id this is my project id which i am using okay so this is the project id and here we go with the journal i need to just copy this project id so this issue come when we don't have the project id like this so let me just add a place with my project ID over there. Right. And let's try to send it. And here we have our project with the Chrome. Right. So here we go with our Chrome. And let's make it like this. And make the postman like this. Okay. So we have to check the this one. Uh, notifications. Okay. So here we go with scroll this. To do with this one. Okay. I think token and everything we have done. Let's try to send this. Where is send button for this? So here we go with this one. If we try to send this one, FCM message received. FCM message. Okay. So here we go with our body. So this is the title, and here we can just replace our message also. So here we go with this one. Like, um, hey, technical Rajni. right and let's try to send this notification also hey technical rajni so that means push notifications worked with the new firebase legacy app okay so this is how you can do that and if you know me how to i get the access token then definitely you have to write me on the comment section and make full the comment section so that i can let you know how to generate the ss token using the python library in the next video i'm going to teach you with the node.js library also so please do fast the commenting so that i will because i have do so many r and d's to get this tutorial back into my channel because most of my subscribers asking me that the fcm is not working please help me and do something so i come back but your purpose is make the comments full so that i will show you the code base okay so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day